my last six years have been insane. My name is Mike Young. I'm a concert photographer and videographer for the past six years based here outside of Detroit, Michigan. And right now, I am starting a new series. I'm gonna be going through the crazy stories, the lovely stories, everything in between from my time doing photos and videos for bands. All right, to start off, we're going back to the beginning of how I started my career working with bands in Michigan. So my buddy Reese and I, who is also a film student with me, we decided to go to the livery in Benton Harbor to see a show. You know, we both had a Friday night off. Why not? So the band playing there was called The Go Rounds. Very talented musicians based out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. And you know, after the show, we just asked, hey, you know, we're trying to expand our portfolio. Can we come to your next show and film it? You know, they love that idea. So the show at Bell's Brewery finally comes around. It was about a month after we asked. And I just say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try concert photography while we're also filming the whole show. I was pretty good at it. Turns out I wasn't that good at it, clearly from my photos. But the thing is, the band loved them. The band shared them all over the place, especially because you know, they didn't pay for it. Bands love free photos. If you're trying to get into it, just offer free photos. You're guaranteed to get a photo pass for them. End of the night, we talked to him. My buddy Reese, he was still in film school. Part of the graduation process for film school, for us at least, is we had to make a short documentary and premiere it at the school. So on the drive back, Reese and I were talking, and we decided, hey, let's ask the go-rounds if we can do a documentary on them. They agreed and we spent the next year filming them. So we start to film this documentary. At the end, I'll put in the trailer so you guys can see it, but that's unfortunately all I can show. So we start following the go-rounds. We're going to Cadillac, Michigan. We're going to Mexico with them. We're going all the way to Keweenaw Peninsula. As I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm not from Michigan originally, so they all make fun of me for saying things wrong. Uh, we just spent a year filming them, documenting everything, making them cool little like Kickstarter videos, sending them photos, and all that stuff that bands love to get. So this was really good opportunity for me. I got a year to practice filming concerts and photographing concerts. So this is my beginning. Six years ago, this is where I started. Those photos are not good, right? Not anywhere near what I'm getting right now. Yet this opportunity was key for me to develop my techniques and get to where I am now. So we were at Harvest Gathering Fest. It was like one of the very first shows we filmed for the go-rounds for this documentary after the Bells one. And I'm looking at the weather and planning everything. It says, yeah, low of 50, you're gonna be fine. And we get there, I'm wearing contacts at that time. And we're following the band around. They go to practice in a goat pen. And like, it was some barn that they kept goats in when there wasn't a festival going on. Allergies just strike so bad. Everyone thought I was just stoned out of my mind. Like I had medical come up and ask me if I needed help. It was, my eyes were that bad. But anyways, they get done about one, two in the morning. My car is parked behind the, the main stage, right? And two in the morning, we're like, you know, I'm not gonna set up a tent. It's way too late. Let's just sleep in my car. So Reese and I, we, we sleep in the car. Uh, turns out it was the coldest harvest gathering on record. Wake up, five o'clock in the morning. Contacts are still in my eyes because I'm an idiot. I can barely see anything. And I'm wandering, you know, six in the morning just kind of freezing, ice is in the inside of my car. So I just kept wandering until I found somebody that had a fire going, just sat down, you know. Luckily everyone at, you know, Harvest Gathering, they're nice people, they're gonna just invite you in and just. The following April from when I started was gonna be their huge album release. It was their latest album. I think it might still be their newest album. Definitely should check it out. Pattern and Vanity is probably one of my favorite songs by them. We're, we're starting this tour. We start from Bells in Kalamazoo. We drive up to Petoskey, Traverse City, go all the way up. So, oh, here we go. So Michigan, all the way up here, the farm block. 
and we go to MTU is up that area. We shoot a bunch of shows all the way up, Marquette, all in preparation for their album release. And we got some really good footage. A couple months later, Farm Block is this great festival they put on way up, way up, way up, way up north. Um, like way, way up north. Like there's still snow in June, way up north, yeah. So go up there, we film their, their festival, they put on, it's all for charity, so it's really nice. Uh, I'll put a link into the charity below. Then come September, almost a complete year later, we're shooting the Mount Pleasant. Weird, weird. It was some charity event. So the bottom floor was a furniture store. And the above was like, the second floor was like an empty ballroom that they rented out, right? We get there, on my way, I get a text from my fiance, just like, oh, I don't, I don't think I wanna, I can be with you anymore. Reese, I forgot something bad news happened to him. The sound guy, he showed up like an hour and a half late, even though we were there and the band was there about four, the show was supposed to start at seven. I think the guy showed up at 8.20, uh, just kept saying, you know, I don't know, I don't know what we're doing, I don't know what's going on, I don't know why it's making this sound. <laughs> So all in all, that was probably the worst show I have ever done. It was just, everyone was in bad mood, nothing was going right. The whole drive up there was horrible because I'm freaking out, Reese is freaking out. We get there, the band's like, oh, we're supposed to go on in a couple minutes with no sound guy. We haven't done a sound check, but you know, they're, they were professionals right after, you know, they're like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away, you fix this. They came back, smiles, professional, everything. So after a year of filming and editing this documentary for the go rounds, they we mutually decided not to publicly show it, just be, just so everyone was happy. Reese was the director. He kind of just like this isn't going to be my first film I want to show. I personally love it still. I think it looks great, and the go rounds just didn't like some scenes in it. But that point doesn't really matter right now. Even though the ending of this full year and filming this documentary didn't end as planned. You know, every, everything went wrong towards the end. I have a process now, it's almost scientific how I shoot photos and video for concerts. I'll be going into other videos like that later on. Just leave in a comment if you wanna know that process. And I can't stress this enough. The Go Rounds, they are a great band. We just had fundamental disagreements on our story and the story that was told about them. And that's completely fine, but just be sure to have a clear contract if you're gonna be working with some bands, or actually any bands, unless you know them personally. Just be sure to have a contract, get it signed, notarized if you had to. Just cover your own butt. Make sure they're happy with the final product as well. That sounds conflicting, yes, but the way you get more gigs in this industry is by making sure the people that are paying you are happy. So the whole point of this video is to show you how bad my photos were at the beginning. And if you've been following me, you've seen that they're, I'd say, pretty darn good now, video and photos for concerts. And, you know, just a little, little bit of time, dedication, you can do it too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a little vague, but it was covering a whole year. I got a plenty of other crazy stories and behind the scenes, I'm gonna let you in. This is gonna be a whole series, and I hope you guys are digging the new studio. We're building this out. This is gonna be the dopest place ever once it's all cleaned out, and we're getting paint in here, some new floors. So guys, if you're in the Detroit area and you're looking for some video work headshots, Hit me up in the comments, find me on Instagram, send me a DM, and I hope you guys are liking the beginning of the series. Uh, I'm gonna be going through all the crazy stories, all the heartfelt stories, behind the scenes stuff of some of my favorite photos, so be sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification so you know when my next video is up. Why music? Oh, yeah.
I don't want to be the kind of dude who just like comes home from work at like 5.30 or 6 and I'm just like whipped. This is what I'm doing. I have no idea how it's going to end up. Getting that offer was why I didn't use my one-way ticket to LA that I had already purchased. When people are performing and there's this joy that musicians are expected to emanate, if you're not careful, you can feel hollow, like you've just been drained out by the experience. Bye.